Faith Hill here. In this video, I want to talk to you about the implications of the 380 trillion viruses that we have inside of each one of our bodies. My name is Kelly Item. I'm the author of this book here, The Doctor Who Cures Cancer. There it is in Russian. Also the inventor of the Whirling Bliss Machine and the Heartfelt Energizer. So we've got these 380 trillion viruses in our body. And the way that we come up with that number is that <clears throat> every animal has 10 times as many viruses in them as they have bacteria. And it's been determined that we have about 38 billion bacteria in our body at any time. So multiplying by 10, we have 380 trillion viruses. Now, the implication of that is, <clears throat> is that we must have a use for those viruses. They must be something beneficial about them being in our body, right? Because we wouldn't have them there. Not every human, every human being wouldn't have them if they weren't used for something. And in fact, they do have a job. They're beneficial. They find cells that are weak and they <clears throat> devour them and get rid of them, help you get rid of them so that they don't, you know, so those dead cells don't pile up in the body forever and ever. you got to get, get them out. And so that's how your body does it. We have about five or ten viruses for every cell in our body. So what the implication of that is, is that vaccines are attempting to inactivate in some manner some virus in our body. Well, but we've just determined that viruses are beneficial. So why would we want to inactivate any of them? They have a job to do. They don't infect us unless the cell is dying or dead. And then the immune system comes in and cleans that up so you don't get virus, you don't get the flu. I mean, how many times have you had the flu in your life? Even if you have it every year, you, most of the time you don't have the flu. So those viruses are there. They have a purpose. We don't want to inactivate them. So, also as we look at this, we want to consider this. If we have 380 trillion viruses in our body, this notion that we have that viruses are contagions starts to look like a silly argument. And this was an argument that was made back when Pasteur first came around, and it still appears to be the correct argument. It's not the pathogen, it's not the virus that makes you sick. The thing that makes us sick is having a low membrane potential. That's the electrical field that we have inside of our, each of our cells that repels all those viruses that we have in our body all the time. As long as our membrane potential is strong, we're adequate. The viruses leave us alone. They don't give you the flu or a cold. Now with 5G and Wi-Fi, those things do lower our membrane potential and that would explain why there have been elevated levels of, of the flu and also of such things as the coronavirus and why these flus last a long time. Because as soon as one has finished its job, another one steps up forward to make you sick again. So the secret is keeping your is keeping it elevated. That's what the heartfelt energizer does. So anyway, that's why I can hug people with the flu. That's why I can touch my face, my nose, my eyes, my ears. And I've made a bunch of videos like that. I don't get the flu. Because my membrane potential is being elevated by the heartfelt energizer. Well you take care and God bless.